lovely. So today I'm going to show you briefly how to do the uh, paper peony. You have all the instruction here on the blog, but here from the book. Uh, it's uh, very simple and uh, I'm going to show you how I use the spoon. It's that rounded shape, it, um, measuring spoons from a set. And all I do is just, I squeeze the petal inside the spoon. And then even if you see that it creates that uh, crinkly effect, like that wrinkle, that's what you wanted to to do you know to create that kind of a natural look but I'll show you once it's done what I like from to use the spoon for the peony it's this is this effect you know like it looks like a spoon itself like each petals are shaped like the spoons and that crickling effect here that's okay that's what you wanted to create when you use that spoon for the peony so you have four peonies you're gonna do like that and then when the four peonies are done uh, one of the instruction is you take the, the, the peony and then you just shape them, uh, press them on the mat. So when you press them in the center like this, the, you create the pedal to go up or I like to use a stick and then I'll just close them a little bit so it's ready to, um, it looks fuller when you assemble one petal inside the other. So you have your four petals prepared like that. And then the fifth one, like I mentioned to you, um, you wanted to do the same thing with the petals. You wanted to squish it inside the spoon like this. And then when that's all done, you wanted to use the rounded shape again of your brush or your, your paint brush or your stick and then you instead of going like this like you did with the previous one you're going with the petal facing down like I mentioned on the blog it's not in the book because since uh, the book was released I added this extra layer so it makes it look fuller so you, you, you put the curl facing down and then you press or what I'll do here with my stick I'll just raise them a little bit like that so when it's time to assemble, you'll put some glue here and add that to the back of your peony. And that effect will create it, the, the peony look fuller, you know, more open. Um, the other step too that uh, it's not in the book is I started also to use, it's like half of a um, teaspoon. Uh, and I just, again, it just wrinkled all the petal inside the spoon um, in the book I mentioned the shaving technique which is fine too but if you're gonna do all the petals with the wrinkly effect from the spoon might as well do this one too and then if you have that from your set why not using it right and then with your stick again you're gonna or you're gonna press down on your molding mat or if you like for me I started to work like this I'll just raise them close the petal with my stick like that and then you use one or two of that layer. And at the end of the blog post, you'll see I mentioned to use uh, another petal. I think it's uh, P23, I don't remember. I have to check in the book. I'll check that. I think it's P... Yeah, it's P23. It's like the daisy templates. Um, so I cut two of those shape and, and that's what I've been using to really make put in the center of the peony instead of just leaving it empty is I use two of those cut them in half like this and then I curl you know those little petals here I just curl one side up one side down it's just this it just makes it like the more volumes to the to the little center of your peony when that's done all done you just wanted to take them apart and then skew squeeze one with your fingers just like this create a little cone shape and then you're going to glue it in the center of this one which i'll do right away there you go and then when you put it in the center of this, this the, the first one, you just squeeze it a little bit more. And then you're going to add it to the middle 
of your P28 from the book, like this. And once that's done, when you put that inside your peony, it's going to create a fuller look. So now that you have all your petals ready, you want to start to assemble. And you're going to put a little bit of glue here at the bottom of each petal la layer. And you're going to glue them inside your petal by staggering each of the layers like this. Like one like this. This one here, I'm going to put some glue at the bottom. I'm going to add it like this in between the other petal like this. See? The fourth one. Glue stick to my gun, and then now you want to add the middle part in which you added your little kind of a daisy templates inside. There you go. Put that in in the middle of your peony. Take my stick or my paintbrush, and I just press to make sure it's solid inside, like this. And then what you want to do is with the petal shape that you curled with the, the, the you know, you, you did a pressure with the curl face down. You want to put a little bit of glue here with the curl facing up. And you'll see when you add it to the bottom of your peony, just like that. And then when you turn it, it creates that open effect of your peony. And now it's ready to add it to a stem. There you go.